All right. Before we get to recruiting news, we might as well stay with what's going on there at camp. Miles Brennan, his career's over in terms of uh, who's left there to battle it out. Uh, what is standing out to you in regards to uh, the position battles, the development of positions heading toward uh, the 22 season? Well, we'll just start with quarterback real quick. Um, you know, Jaden Daniels is getting the majority of the first team reps because Garrett Nussmeyer had a little bit of a, a ankle injury. But Nussmeyer was still participating, still fully dressed, uh, doing a lot of drills, still throwing. And now he's back. I don't think he's 100%, but he's back doing a full participation in the walkthroughs, the run-throughs. And it, it's an up-tempo, fast-paced offense where they're just marching down the field, plays ad nauseum as quickly as they can possibly do it. Um, don't, don't fast forward on the DVR this, this fall guys and gals don't, don't fast forward because they're going to be calling plays very quickly. Um, and and it, he was able to keep up with that. So his ankle, you know, for me, probably like 80, 75% healthy right now, but not, not too big of a worry, but it has, it's not, it is a negative to, to miss first team reps always. And those first team reps went to miles Brennan, a total waste uh, because he's gone the last few, last few practices, but Nussmeyer, uh, he, he's starting to show a lot more strength coming back into his own, but Jaden Daniels is really, really the story here because I mean, given the first team reps, he's shown that he actually has really improved on his passing mark. Uh, he's going right back to his strong intermediary passing from the first of his Arizona state career. Uh, just, really able to pick off the running backs in stride, beautiful on these underneath routes, really strong timing on these mesh route concepts over the middle, uh, these deep bombs as well. He's really starting to hit these guys with these deep bombs. You know, he's, he's leading his, his receivers into space, and that's what you want to see. That's what we haven't seen from LSU quarterbacks uh, since Burrow, of course, is leading – a guy like Kayshawn Booty into space, leading a guy like Jack Besh into space, or, or Malik Neighbors, Kyron Lacey. The strength of this receiving core, you know, yards after catch. And Jaden Daniels, he's starting to be able to, to really make that claim to be LSU starting quarterback. Garrett Nussmeyer, though, has plenty of time, Mark, to really retake that. I, I think Nussmeyer, he's worthy of that job. He's got to prove it in the last part of fall camp. Is there going to be enough time? Could they potentially just roll with both guys? You know, maybe start with Jaden and have no problem going to Nuss at some point in the season. It's interesting to see. 